Welcome to module five, where we focus on monoprinting to create new imagery, texture and colour. It's a chance to combine your skills developed in earlier modules of textured surfaces and experimental drawing. I love monoprint. It's a technique I always return to, to help generate new ideas and get back to basics with colour mixing and painting. So what is monoprinting? I thought I'd start the intro with a video of a simple monoprint. This is my desk surrounded by photographs from my module one photo walk, which will be my reference for creating the new work. I'm using a ceramic tile as my printing surface. I start by adding color using acrylic paint and a little water to mix directly on the tile. I'm using a medium paintbrush to apply an even layer of paint over the surface. Next, I fold a piece of paper and use the corner edge to scratch lines into the painted surface. I'm taking inspiration from this photograph of tree branches to inform my monoprint design. I need the lines to be crisp and clear as I scratch into the surface to remove areas of paint. I then add a sheet of white paper. I'm using a heavyweight 280 grams cartridge paper and I lay it very carefully over the tile, careful not to smudge the paint underneath. I apply even good pressure using the backs of my fingers, careful to make contact with all areas of the paper, especially the edges. I peel the paper back gently to reveal the monoprint and mono, which means one. I like how the technique of monoprinting picks up all the brush marks from the printing surface. You can see the quality of a monoprint shows up all the marks and noise within the printing activity. It's a lovely way to combine both drawing and painting within one medium. Here are a few more examples of my monoprints using images from my photo walk to create new textures and compositions. In this module, I'll be demonstrating three main approaches to monoprinting. One, focusing on creating line within your monoprint. Two, focusing on creating a variety of texture using different mark making tools. And three, focusing on using paper stencils to create bold composition in your monoprints. All three approaches can make use of your module one images to inspire and suggest shape, color and texture. It will also be a chance to use more of your textured surfaces from module two, which will act as a background for your monoprints. In the next module, I'll be demonstrating how to photograph all your artwork using a DIY light box. Here you see a few images that show my own monoprints when photographed with backlighting on the light box. It's an opportunity to layer your prints together where the surfaces are translucent, like with the tracing paper or acetate. To prepare for this module on monoprinting, have a look at the next lesson which talks through your equipment.